All right, boy, let's get you stripped off. It's sunny, it's warming up. It's a good day to be naked. For the horses to be naked. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> Your leg is looking better. He had a bit of a swollen leg. Oh, it's looking way better. Yay. Hello, Dream Team members. It's Justine and Cupid. We're gonna do a Q&A today for all you wanna know about this sweet little boy, because he's a new addition to the familia. Fam family? Fam familia? You know, I'm part Hispanic, but no, zero Spanish, so. <laughs> Embarrassing. All right, let's start with a speed round. Cupid is five years old. He's a 16.1 hand high thoroughbred. He's not off the track. A lot of people wanted to know his breeding. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to get his microchip scan to get his registration number. So until the vet comes, TBD on his baby mama and his daddy. Maybe I'll post it on my Instagram whenever I find that out. Nom, nom, nom. Let's go, let's go brush ya. You can tell his habits throughout the day is just eating here and pooping along this circle. Are you excited to be free and rid of the blanket? Thankfully, he doesn't seem to be destructive though. It came out in one piece. Oh, no, no, not as I say that. Cupid, no. Guilty face. All right, one of the first things I want to address is the Holly situation. I figured I'd get a lot more questions about this than I did, but I still wanted to like go over it because you might be wondering like, why if you were able to get a horse when you're in college anyways, did you not just keep Holly? Here's why. I get to use my fancy grooming brushes now. So I bought Holly as a project horse, meaning I bought her intending to sell her later down the line. So when I sold Holly, she was on top of her A game. She was doing all the things. She was super good ready to be on the market, ready to be sold. Why I got a horse now is because my situation changed a little bit. When I came to college, I didn't have a car. I didn't know anybody here. I was new to the whole college thing, right? I've now been in college for three years. I have access to a car. I have a lot of free time. And so I felt like now was just a really good opportunity for me to get a horse. And so I did. <laughs> so that begs the question, what have I been doing for the past three years? All right, so I had a little bit of time where I was riding on the Drexel equestrian team. That really just wasn't what I was looking for in terms of riding and stuff. Like I was not good at equitation, okay? Um, it really just made me focus on myself way too much to the point I was like riding super stiffly and not well, <laughs> so. And just the way the practices were set up and stuff, it just wasn't my vibe. So I did that for like half a year. And then I was a riding instructor for a little bit. Things just didn't really work out there. It was pretty far for me to travel. It was at least like an hour and a half commute each way. And then sometimes some people wouldn't even show up to their lessons. So it was like four or five hours out of my day for just sitting there and not getting paid. I loved teaching though, which is such a shame that it didn't work out. And then I was just riding when and where I could. Uh, I went to a clinic that literally changed my life. It was a horsemanship clinic and it just really taught me a lot about how to be more friendly to our animals and I will never train horses the same. And then I would ride my friend's horses and stuff, especially when I visited Texas. I went on a little riding spree with my best friend, Nicole. Shout out to Nicole. She's been on this channel since it started. We have some embarrassing old videos on this channel together. I'm not gonna ride him today. I just wanna check to make sure this girth I got him fits. It's from Equinavia. It's just a regular nylon, nylon, neoprene. I don't know, I'm gonna have to fact check that. <laughs> but it was cheap and stylish, so I got it. I really had no idea what size to go with. Um, so I just got the standard 48 and it's got elastics on both sides. So I figured if anything, it'll be fine because it'll stretch a bit. Oh yeah, this is good. Cool. His leg is thankfully getting better. Who knows, he, he, he came in with a couple scrapes. I'm gonna give it a couple more days to really solidify and not be swollen at all before I bring him back into work. So I'm just gonna cold hose it just to help with the inflammation. All this blue stuff on his leg is just some medicine that I put on any like cuts or scrapes that he got, like literally the tiniest bit because while it was swollen, I was like, better be safe than sorry. And just, oh, cough. Oh goodness, okay. 
better to be safe than sorry and just help treat them and make sure none of them irritate his leg further. All right, so let's answer the question everyone wants to know. What are my plans with this dude? What are we gonna be doing? So he is gonna be a show horse. He is very much a natural born hunter. I mean, look at this form. That's just natural. With his like chill attitude and stuff, we're definitely gonna do hunters. We might play around in the jumpers, but I really don't wanna get him riled up. Only once he's really solid in the hunters, may we try and do the jumpers. That's my thought at least. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Plans can always change. And one of the big things that I didn't do with Holly that we're gonna switch up for his training is I wanna do a lot of liberty and I wanna do bareback riding, tackless riding even, um, and trick training. He's gonna be a little circus pony after this. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna do some groundwork because I don't wanna get him moving too much. So I found Keep It on Facebook group pages for horses for sale in my area. His history is that he came from a old man's ranch that had like 70 horses or something. His wife wanted him to downsize. So he put two weeks of like cowboy breaking in training on him. I don't know these people. I don't know what kind of training they did. They just got him rideable. And then um, in October, he got sent to the people I bought him from. And they, look how much better he is with a side pull. Look at that. <laughs> um, they started training him to do jumping and so he has just basic jump training basic english training like i mentioned in my first video he's only been under saddle for five months so i'm gonna really try and show him a lot of the world i'm gonna take him on trails they have like a hundred acres of trails here get him really experienced so that begs the question am i keeping him or is he a project so i don't know <laughs> um i I'm pretty sure he's going to be just a project, but I'm not going to like set a time frame on him like I did Holly. I really just want to enjoy him, train him. He's the first one that I'm training all by myself. Like I don't have another trainer with me. I do still work with like clinicians and other professionals in the area. This is going to just be our journey, but probably in about like three years, he'll be really experienced enough and a solid show horse to be sold. Since I can't get on him, I still want to try and train these leg cues into him. There we go. Since I want to him bridalist i really want all of my direction to come from my legs so a little further back i want him to move his hind quarters and then up front i want him to move his um four hand i was gonna say four quarters his forehand he definitely needs to work on this a little bit because even in the cross ties he's a little stiff when i ask him to move over good boy i'm just tapping him i'm not like smacking him let him know to move away from this pressure there, good boy. Let's see if I can do it with my hand too. Good, there, that's much better. So the, my hand will be a little bit more like whenever we're riding, because it's just a little more steady pressure. There, good boy. Yesterday we also started learning, we started learning how to put his head down with pull pressure. Let's see, let's ask him to go up. Down, good boy. <laughs> Yes, relaxing. I feel like a lot of small sessions is a lot better than one long just drilling session because then at that point they're just gonna get tired and bored and be like, what do you even want from me? And then that allows a lot more time for error and confusion. Good job, all right, that's enough for today. All right, so we're back for a second round of cold hosing. I got a couple questions about why I want to ride him bitless. That really has to do with kind of my change in mindset, which is less gadgets, more training. Now I just kind of believe bitless is a little less invasive just inherently because you don't have to stick anything in their mouth. It's not hitting the roof of their mouth or pinching their tongue. Knowing that I can communicate with my horse with less gear and less mechanical persuasion, I should say. I think he'll be happier. I'll be happy like riding tackless would be the ultimate dream at the end of this. Now I don't have anything against anyone who uses bits. Of course I've used bits for the past nine years and will still ride in a bit if a horse is being ridden in a bit, but for his training I want to train him to go bitless. Okay, so my mic either died or I broke it literally just taking off my jacket. So I'll answer this question a little more in depth in my all the horses I tried video, but what initially attracted to me him, blah, 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 me him me to him in his Facebook ad. It's because I liked his jump. Um, no, it's not just that. Um, sit in the shade. Oh my gosh. Come on, Cupid. He's so derpy looking. 
Come on. Maybe he'll just be really far in the background. That would be funny. He's just gonna chill in the background. Um, oh my gosh, he has his gong out. Censor that. Anyhow, when I went to try him, I just really liked how he rode. I felt like I didn't have to settle him myself. Like that's one of the reasons I really didn't want a thoroughbred was because a lot of them, especially coming off the track, when they are off the track, they typically take a lot to settle down. Sometimes it's just kind of like, Ugh, you know? I really wanted a horse I could relax with. The fact that I don't have to make the horse relax helps me just have an enjoyable ride. We also took him out on a little trail ride and he just didn't care about anything. Like there was a dog that spooked me and it didn't spook him. The vet check, he stood still for like two hours. Like it was extremely long because of another medical emergency another horse had during the middle of our vet check, which I'll go into in the, the horses I tried vlog. That whole story is upcoming, which it was wild. But during that time, he just stood so still. He never pawed. He never called out to another horse. He wasn't like antsy. So I really just liked his demeanor. Um, and that's really what made me decide to go with him. Hi, Maddie. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, well, you're gonna see so much more of him in our adventures. Hopefully this helped answer a couple of your questions. As always, thank you for watching. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but he just, he just exhaled for you. You guys got an exhale, that's special. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Join us next time. Go out there and dream, believe, achieve. Bye, goodbye. He just did it again. He's a good vlogger. This dude is a YouTuber now. <laughs> You can't say it to my face, oh Just say it to my face